Every year for President's Day, in particular General Washington's birthday, we hold a celebration here at Washington Crossing Historic Park. It is geared toward young families, so specifically for families who have young children. And uh, we have a series of demonstrations around the park. Children can experience the blacksmith shop, they can experience quill pen writing, 18th century children's games, hearthside cooking. We have two sections of the park where the Washington Crossing Bridge is currently. That was actually the ferry point. So that's most likely where Washington would have crossed. It's also one of the narrower points of the Delaware River and he was able to get across with his army of 2,400 men and all of the accoutrement that they needed their cannon, their artillery, horses, everything, the carts that they needed to take with them for that surprise attack on Trenton. We also manage Bowman's Hill Tower, which is a 125-foot observation deck, which is absolutely stunning during the leaf season. And we also manage the Thompson Neely Farm and Grist Mill. The main section of the house is the kitchen. There's a musket in the corner near the door where it would have been kept to if an officer needed to or a soldier needed to race out. Some uniforms draped over chairs. One of the rooms is interpreted as an officer's headquarters. It's a mix of what a military officer would have been seeing and using, but also how did a family live and manage their business and their family life while boarding these gentlemen. Here on site, the lower section of the park, is the McConkie's Ferry Inn. The inn is interpreted as a tavern. This is the commercial kitchen a space that would have been where travelers would have waited to cross the Delaware River at the ferry point. It's a very large open hearth and they would have been using this fireplace to serve meals to guests. The visitor center has a 250 seat auditorium. We also have a, a gallery. The exhibit right now, you, we have two brown best muskets that are part of the Pennsylvania collection. Cups and saucers and things that you would have seen in a common soldier's uh, haversack. We also have a, a very extensive furniture collection here. Chairs, a lot of them from Philadelphia from 1740 through 1790, armoires and, and chests of drawers, several desks. And there's also an exhibit in there on soldiers' health right now. This display is what a sick room would have perhaps looked like. If the family was lucky and the soldiers were lucky to have a bed to be on, it would have been a rope bed with a, a straw mattress. And these are some of the tools that surgeons and doctors used in those field hospitals and the hospitals and places where they were caring for the injured. There's all kinds of things going on at the park. Folks who may want to go biking or running or hiking, you can connect both sections of the park by walking on the canal the three miles. We have campgrounds for Boy Scout troops and Girl Scout troops if they are interested in uh, using our scout campground. But we also have picnic pavilions and we have barbecues and grills so that families can come out and uh, have a picnic lunch when the weather's nice. Virtually every weekend there's always something to do here.